Hello, good morning. Welcome to Monday. It's the 21st of January. Hello from me, Chris Hawkins, and producer Jen. It's Monday, and I've got brand new music by Drums to come, and uh, Anna Calvi. And being Monday, it's Hometown Glory. Travelling 100 miles south from Hartford last week with 10 tonnes to Brighton. Each week, a different musician gives us their guide to where they're from or where they live. I'm absolutely delighted to say that this week, it's with one of my 90s icons, Louise Wenner from Steeper. This is BBC Radio 6 Music. Chris Hawkins. Hi Chris, this is Louise from Sleeper and this is a quick guide to my adopted hometown of Brighton. Like a lot of seaside towns, Brighton is a pick and mix of a place. A combination of faded and opulent. Beautiful Regency squares gaze out on kiss me quick pier rides. Funky hipster cafes and sushi bars sit side by side with rock shops and greasy spoons. The city has a decadent past, a playground for royal princes and London day trippers since the early 1800s. They came for the fresh salty air that hits you the moment you step off the train. By the time you reach the long pebble beach, there's six miles of it to explore. You're likely to have seen something joyful and wonky on the streets. Octogenarians on roller skates, a team of naked cyclists or a busking disco bunny. There's a bewildering number of restaurants and independent cafes here, and you never need visit a chain. Marwood serves great locally roasted coffee, and the Pavilion Gardens should be your stop for tea and cake. There's a bar, they say, for every 320 people in Brighton and Hove. I like Valentino's on North Road for an excellent whiskey sour. The Nelson on Trafalgar is great for pints. The North Lanes are teeming with cool boutiques. I like Nola and great record shops like Resident and Vinyl Revolution. The population swells from a few hundred thousand to over a million when the sun shines. And when the crowds get too much, there's a national park right on your doorstep. Ten minutes from the city and you're in the South Downs, a world away from the revellers and hipsters, with views and walks that inspired Kipling and Raymond Briggs. Take your kids to Morocco's for the best homemade ice cream at the seaside, and when they're done with the beach, Pop into the creepy Booze Museum with its bizarre collection of stuffed animals and curios. With spring, there's a steady procession of festivals that turn the city into a carnival until late summer. The Great Escape, Brighton Fringe, Pride and Paddle Round the Pier. For live music, I love the Green Door Store and the Albert and the Concord by the Beach with its magic lift. Check it out. The Dome hosted ABBA's Eurovision win in 1974 and Pink Floyd debuted Dark Side of the Moon there and it's still a fantastic venue for bigger bands. Most of all, Brighton is a friendly place to live. People say thank you to the bus drivers here. They let you in at traffic queues. There may be a few too many sculpted beards and pop-up vegan macchiato quinoa shops. But every time I get off the train from London, the sense of freedom lifts me up and I realise why I moved here and relax. What's not to love about hearing that first thing on a Monday morning? Louise Buena, Steeper, and that was, of course, in between her. And thanks to Louise for her fabulous guide to Brighton. I'll play Steeper's brand new single in about half an hour between now and then. I'd like you to share a Brighton story. Have you got one? Does Brighton rock? Chris.6music at bbc.co.uk. Text me 64046 or at bbc6music. If you're from there, grew up there, have ever been there, what's your Brighton story? Let me know. And as I say, more with Louise and the new single by Steeper in around about half an hour. Next, though, it's brand new music by Drums. This. This is Six Music. Six Music. New York is the HQ of jazz music.